Hello everyone and welcome to MathX. Let's go and solve this equation together. Okay. So the first step is dividing all terms by one of these. Okay. Well, it's up to you which one, but um, you could go with three to power of X, but nine to power of X will actually make the question and the solution easier. So I'm going with that. Okay. So uh, we're dividing these, uh, the powers X and X are the same. So I could write it as one over nine to power of X, okay? Plus three over nine, I'm going to write it as one over three to power of X. And of course, the last term will be just one, okay? So now, uh, I, I hope that you see what the next step is. Because 1 over 9 is the same as 1 over 3 to power of x multiplied by 1 over 3 to power of x. Okay, that's the first term. Plus this term, 1 over 3 to power of x, uh, this x looks like an airplane, okay, equals one, okay. So now let's just do something, okay. Let one over three to power of x, okay, be what? Y or T, let's go T. T is squared, okay, plus T equals one. So we have a quadratic, okay, equation. So I'm going to have one to the left-hand side. It will be T squared plus T negative one equal zero, okay? So from here, I'm going to use quadratic formula, negative B plus, okay? You just know the equation, right? If you forgot, look it up, quadratic formula. So T would be two values. It's going to be negative one plus minus square root of, okay? 1 minus negative 4 will be positive 4 over 2. So t will have two values, negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And the other one will be negative 1, negative 5 over Two. Okay. So now one thing here, let's pay attention. Okay. T equals one over three to power of X. Okay. But we know that this is always positive. It's always bigger than zero, but this one, the value of T negative one minus square root of five is always negative. So we cannot accept this one. So this solution is what we're looking for, okay? So what we're gonna have, okay, one over three to power of x equals, this one is positive because negative one plus the square root of five well, it's positive, of course, obviously, okay? So how to deal with this? Uh, unfortunately, X isn't the power part. What do we do when this is the case? We add logarithms, okay? Or here, I will just add ln. So ln of one over three to power of X 
equals this weird thing, negative one plus square roots of five over two. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add the ln. I'm going to put it here. Ooh, okay. So it looks a little messy. Now we know because of logarithms power rule, x could go all the way here, okay? So I will have x, okay, multiplied by ln of 1 over 3, okay, equals ln of, okay, negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, okay? So uh, the question is almost over. We just need to simplify it just a little more. Okay, instead of ln 1 over 3, I could write negative ln 3. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go negative x times ln 3, okay, equals, okay, to simplify this, I'm going to write it as ln of, okay, negative 1 plus square root of 5. So logarithm quotient rule, okay? I'm going to write it minus ln 2, okay? So, okay, to simplify it, Finally, x would be x equals, okay, dividing both sides by ln3, it would be all of this, negative 1 plus the square root of 5, okay, minus ln2, all of this divided by ln3. So please guys do everyone and do me a favor, find the value of this in decimals and write it in the comments. That would help me. Also, you could check it. Well, because I didn't check it, I could also be wrong <laughs> with the whole thing. Okay, so if you found this useful, make sure you like. And uh, if you wanna see more things like this, subscribe.